was just happening. My teammate passed me a ball. He was there and I just rose up. It felt different when it happened. That five seconds where I got need completely changed my entire life. My mom always told me that this is gonna be your story to tell. In 2017, Jaden McKinstry was a sophomore wide receiver at St. John's Jesuit High School in Toledo, Ohio. That's a touchdown, baby. Let's go. His size, athleticism, and potential attracted the attention of Power Five schools. Jaden McKinstry. Almost every day after that sophomore year playing football, he was getting talked to by some coach from some big college, and then a lot of letters started to come to the house. While football was the path to playing a sport in college, Jaden says playing basketball was his first love. In 2018, while rising for a dunk attempt during an AU game, Jaden caught a knee to the groin. I'm like, Jaden, you have to let me see. And one of his testicles had swollen the size of a grapefruit. Jaden was rushed to the emergency room where they referred him to a urologist. The initial diagnosis, a blood clot. An outpatient procedure was scheduled. They take him back, I go back with him. We're laughing, we're joking, we think it's no big deal. Um, and I go sit out in the waiting area. A nurse comes out and she tells me that I need to go into this little room. The doctor wants to talk to me. And he says, uh, what we found doesn't look right. What they found was a cancerous tumor. The diagnosis, stage four rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare cancer that affects muscle tissue. Jaden was told he had a 50% chance of survival. Uh, I just didn't want to believe it. I was scared. I uh, just, just upset. I was more, I was more mad than I was sad. That night we were home after we found out for sure that he had cancer, and he woke up in the middle of the night and he came into my room. <laughs> And he just fell on his knees and started crying. And he said, Mom, why? Why me? And I didn't know what to say. I didn't have an answer for him. In search of a second opinion, Jaden's mom, Cassandra, took him to Cincinnati Children's Hospital, where a doctor provided the family with the word they wanted to hear. Hope. That's when he told me that I'd have to go through 55 weeks of chemo and do some radiation. To hear one guy say, you know, you have a 50-50 chance, but then going somewhere else and they're saying, no, you're going to make it. So that was awesome. He's a fighter. He doesn't quit. And I think when you count him out is when he show up the most. At the start of treatment, Jaden was a solid 200 pounds. Over time, the chemo would take a toll. Certain foods would just make him sick. He was down to like 170 pounds. He'd lost all of his hair. His fingernails were black. His toenails were black. I got depressed for a while because it just felt like forever while I was going through it. Nearly six months into treatment, Jaden faced another obstacle. Doctors discovered a tumor near his stomach that was not responding to treatment. With the tumor surrounded by vital organs, radiation was not an option. Jaden chose to undergo a life-threatening surgery. I looked at it as like, if they don't get it, I'm gonna die. 
so why not try and get it? Dr. Gupta was the surgeon. And she said, I got it. She said, it took me so long because I took my time. I got it. And I went to see him, and he was laying in bed, a football in his arm, and he was patched up with his name and footballs drawn all over it. They said that when he came out of anesthesia, he just kept saying football. So they had to go find him a football. In 2019, following one year of treatment, Jaden was finally cancer free. Yet the time he spent away from football as he battled cancer left the one time Power Five prospect with no Division I offers. But Bowling Green coach Scott Leffler offered Jaden a spot on the team as a preferred walk on, which eventually led to something bigger. Jaden, I'm proud to say, as of today, August 29, 2021, you have earned a full scholarship at Bowling Green State I felt like a weight was kind of lifted off my shoulders. Like, I had to really work to get here. I want to ask you a hypothetical. What if you don't get need in the groin? I've thought about this a thousand times. If I knew the guy that, who who need me today, I'd probably thank him. But yeah, one hundred percent save my life. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. 